Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again from Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, I am thrilled, I am honored for this first time featuring Prince on the channel. You guys, he was such an influence on me. I was such a fan of his, especially growing up in the 80s, the early 90s. Prince was one of my favorites and still remains, in my view, one of the top artists of all time. And I'm excited to feature his halftime show at the Super Bowl back in 2007 today. Let's jump right in. Oh, I believe this was in Miami, and it was raining. <laughs> it had rained all day, is what I read and remember. I saw this live back then, but it's been a while, but I know he rocked it, and I'm excited. Fun, we will rock you intro. Wow. Fuck, you don't know if that's real or what? Oh. You're gonna to get through this thing called life. Oh no, let's go. You don't lie. Oh, let's go crazy. What are my favorites? Oh, such a showman on the stage. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, baby. Are ready to get up tonight? Oh, my gosh, you guys. I hate to pause it right there, but I just want to jump in quickly and say, I usually stop these a lot and talk about if we're just doing one song. We're just going to enjoy this, you all, to be quite honest. But Prince is already impressing. Just in his chest voice, some easy singing there. He was at home on the stage playing the guitar, dancers around him. He's in his mid-chest voice. He jumps up into a focused head voice mix sound, then a rock scream. You guys, he had everything in his arsenal of vocal sounds. And of course, was a master genius at writing songs for himself and just dozens of other artists. Scream. Yes! Y'all, his playing. So good. The audience is loving it! How lucky are they? Were they? Oh! And who cares about the rain? You just gotta go with it. Prince is such a star. Mmm. Superstar. Whatever he wanted. Yes! Just doing whatever he wants vocally. Some ad libs, some fun vocally. Just showing off his stellar range. I go. <laughs> I feel like a kid, y'all. I see 99. Oh yeah, that the. Uh, I believe this is the Florida A and M marching band. 
Yes. Tell me, do you like what you see? Oh. Hey, I got no money. Just play into the audience here. Personality. My gosh, you guys. I love adding the marching band here. The FAMU marching band is just, oh, so fun. But he's just got some conversational singing going on here. And it's just so fun. Let's jump back a few seconds. Oh. Yes. Oh, he's a star. Yes. Fun dancers with him. Oh, that head voice. Proud Mary. Yes. I like her voice too. Some harmony vocals. CCR! Yes! Oh my god! Oh! Nice! Oh! <laughs> Love hearing that band. Count it. Oh, a great change of feel here. Love hearing that guitar. All along the watchtower. Wow. Princess kept a view. A Bob Dylan song. While the women came and went, barefoot serpents too. Nice vocals here. Outside in the cold distance. Oh, doing his Prince thing. A wild cat did growl. To ride a leopard chain. And the wind began to howl. Yes. Yeah! Foo Fighters! Oh! I love this song! But they're cold! Yes! Oh, good. Oh, so good. The emotion here. Can't interrupt this. Yes! He still got that emotion on his face. Pouring it out through his guitar here. No 
Oh my gosh, you guys. That was wonderful. I love that Foo Fighters song. It just hits me right in the heart. But to me, it also allowed Prince to display his expert skills and talent on a cover song. So people, you know, they're used to hearing Prince's albums and uh, his live performances and just knowing those songs. But to hear it in a different song with the segue there of the Bob Dylan song was just incredible. Just some easy singing in his upper chest voice, but then those kind of rock screams, a uh, little bit of inflection here and there with a run or two, and just unplugged. There's no lip sync for Prince, you guys. Sometimes certain songs in a Super Bowl show might be a lip sync, uh, you know, and then some live performances and all of that. This is pure Prince, live vocals, a great backup singer there with him, doing some harmony work and duet work with him. Y'all, this is, you know, they didn't have to bring in any artists or the, any other superstars for this performance. They had the superstar, Prince. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh. Oh, and then this. I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. This is one of his mega hits. In the rain. Oh. I didn't want to one time see you laughing, babe. Only want to see you, see you laughing, yeah. In the purple rain, purple rain. Takes me back to the 80s, y'all. Don't it feel good? Yes. <laughs> Only wanna see you, see you. Can I play this guitar? Yes, you can. Oh. What a wonderful visual here. Oh, this is iconic. Y'all want to sing tonight? Yes! <laughs> Come on! Oh, that head voice. Perfect. Yeah. Everybody, let me hear you. The doves are in the air. Wonderful. I just read this morning that one of his actual pet doves had passed away. Um, so it was just faith that I do this today. Oh my God. Oh, I miss talent like this in the world, you guys. What a wonderful fireworks. Oh my gosh. That was iconic. Look at him. So proud of his work. And why shouldn't he be? This was incredible. Amazing, iconic, and I, you know, it's Prince. What can you expect? That is what we have come to know and love and expect from Prince. And I'm just sad he's gone. You know, another one of those artists that was gone too soon, but my goodness. 
he left us such a legacy, you know, just performances like this that we have videos of, but also just so much music, you guys. He wrote song after song after song, tons of which we've never heard that are still sitting in his vaults. Um, and I'm just thrilled to be able to feature him on our channel today. Those, you know, Purple Rain just takes me back to the 80s and that era and just when I was younger and growing up and I was in a marching band at that time. It just makes me think of my dad back then. He would take me to games and, you know, I had the Prince cassettes back then, 1999, Purple Rain, uh, Sign of the Times even later in that decade. I loved them all and I was just such a mega fan and I still remain such a mega fan. His vocals were on stellar display there. You all saw it, heard it, but it's just the total performance. The guitar, his stage presence, his connection to the audience, and that's what makes him or made him a mega star, you guys. Wow. I hope you all enjoyed this reaction today as much as I did. If you did, please click like and hit subscribe for me. Leave me a comment down below about other live Prince performances we need to feature here on the channel. I've also left links to my social media, my Kofi page, and I'm sorry for the emotion. I know some of you appreciate that. I don't mean to cry in every other video, but music just affects us emotionally in different ways, and I know it does you all too, so we need to use that for good. Music can heal us. It can... Uh, boost our spirits. It can make us sad when we need to be in order to work through something. And this performance had it all. Ah! Oh. I've also left links to my social media and my Kofi page. And just otherwise, have a great day.